Okay, we're starting off in our closed position. We dance a closed basic count one and two, three and four. I'm going to let the arm expand as I step away from it and cross on one, turning the inside on two, three and four, changing hands for five and six. We're in our anchor position. Now I'm going to step out of the way, lean an in and out roll, counted one, two, roll for three, and pick up the hand on four. Then on five and six, as you turn, I'm going to cross the track into a backing position, putting the hand close to my neck. Then I'm going to turn even tighter to get us rotated around. One, two. Spinning her now on counts three and four. Putting her on the right foot, make sure you get her over that right foot. Then reversing her five and stepping to the side on six. So my position now is already set up for the next pass. I'm going to step out of the way on the one, the two, the three, and four. Make the hand change for five and six. Then we have a sugar push with an embellishment. We'll do it this way once to show you the move. Then we'll turn it sideways so you can see the feet. We have count one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. We did that a couple times. Let me turn it around once with the guys part. You're backing up two steps. One, angling the two, moving a little to the diagonal. Closing left and pushing the right out, that's and three. And putting the foot behind you, taking a small diagonal forward step, that's and four. From here, I'm going to scoot the left foot out, and five, and do a diagonal step to the right, now crossing the front, and six. On that last beat, we'll square the shoulder and set it up again. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. The ladies, part of that, see what she's doing. For one, side step with the gentleman, two, see my weight change all the way to my left foot, and instep, I pretty much take the ball of my foot to my instep, pressing down, scooting the other foot out, no weight change. Cross the front, weight change, push for a weight change, nothing here. Look behind, step in your six. So she has the one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six back to a facing position. And like I said before, it's a real usable syncopation. I can do that at the end of any move, it's so cheap. We do an underarm pass, we'll go to the fourth beat, three, and four, and we'll scoot it out and do the two steps. Any figure, we whip. Doesn't matter what the pattern is, as long as you're in a, in a non spinning position, you can use your scoop step cross. You can also do just half the move. Do the sugar push on one half. She can do it on that half. I can do it on this half. And three and four, five and six. Or I could have done it three and four at the end of it and five and six. So either end of the move or on both sides. It's a very cool little syncopation. It will go a long ways for you.